What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are doing what was heavily requested among you guys. I did a poll and so many people voted for this. We're doing more My Little Worms. But before we get into that, I just wanted to let y'all know I did something that was heavily requested as well. We're, there is now a Discord server. I'm still kind of new to making Discord servers, but I pretty much have a, almost everything set up. And my buddy Red, who's pretty good when it comes to servers, is also the mod. So hopefully this shouldn't go too badly. There are rules, basically. No one under 13 because I could get in big trouble for that and I could get banned and lose my server. Don't be an ass. Pretty much just treat everyone nicely. Uh, no adult videos or pics because there could be people under the age of 18. And I don't know if uh, that would that would not be good. No. Do not spam like crazy because I know there's probably some people out there who are really excited. Just slow your roll and everything will be all good. And no racial profanity or anything overly offensive because, come on, really? Like, this is a group meant for everyone to get along and have fun. And you can send requests, do memes, talk about music, and even just chat in general and just have a good time. There's no need to be racist here. <laughs> Not saying you guys would be racist. You guys are actually super lovely. But basically, we left off here. Then the last episode, we pretty much talked about how... Celestia brought Luna out there for her own convenience and this and that, and we're carrying off from here. We have pretty much from here all the way up to there. So it's best we get going. Jesus. Where the fuck am I? It smells like death here. Trigger warning. Sensitive content. Oh yeah, by the way, warning. I got a comment from a dad whose kid got scared shitless. Please know this is not meant for children. Just letting you know. But it smells like death here. Spike, I know you're here. I know you're hiding. You ate Spike, Twilight. <laughs> Don't be afraid, dear Spike. I know you're out there recording me. Fuck Spike. <laughs> Spike, where am I? You are around here. Spike, I don't understand. Where did you go? Weren't we supposed to stay together? Spike? Jesus. And she starts crying. That's sad. You kind of realize what happened, huh? Twilight vomited on herself because of the disgust she felt when remembering what she had done herself. What have I become? Dot, dot, dot. Is that an eye? Oh, it's Spike's eye. Oh, Jesus. What have you become? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fucking psycho. As to what it is really, you and me, we are complete disgusting whores who killed the fucking Spike. Admit it, Twilight, we're not normal. You're not a really sane pony anymore. But things do not have to be this way. Please enough. Get out of my head. Leave me alone. I will never leave you alone. We are now two and one. Accept it. I think that says bitch, but I'm not sure. All right. Oh, it's like a flashback with Cadence. Sensitive content, of course. Love, I'm here. Hello, love. You look tired. Is something wrong? You don't know how complex all this is. It's a pain in the ass. It must be difficult. They both give each other a sweet and warm kiss. I can't read that. Oh, there it is. Do you know where our daughter is? He's playing in the room. He? Thought it was... I just read the comment. That spoiled it. I don't want to keep going. Okay. I'll go look for her. Dear, where are you? Here you are, treasure. You found her. You saw she was here. Yes, love. I found her. And how did you resolve the virus? It's not easy at all, love. Holy shit! Caden still couldn't get over the fact that her family was dead. That it even altered her reality so that her poor heart would stop suffering from all this. Caden was performing necrophilia on her husband's corpse. No. What the fuck is wrong with you, Pinky? 
Why did you do all this? Is something wrong with me? Did I do something wrong? Answer me, damn it. Don't you understand it? You were everything to me, Rarity, and yet you decided to do that. It's your fault that I'm like this. I barely recognize you. I can barely talk to you like someone conscious. I don't remember a single thing other than that damn day. Do you think all this was my fault? How would I know that she was sick? We are all sick here. Your own sister was eating your cat and your cat was eating her entire mouth to defend herself. Did you not see how shitty that area was? And to top it off, you and I killed your sister, Rarity. We devoured every part of her body. It's the only thing I can remember to this day. I don't even know who you were to me before all this. I don't remember it at all. I can't remember. It's a shame having to remember everything we went through together. Why did you have mercy on me when you sold my whole body? Did you regret it? Why did you have mercy? I don't understand why the fuck did you help me if you don't remember me at all. Don't ask questions that I can't even answer myself. Neither of them could remember the events. Exactly both had fallen into madness after witnessing such a scene that became traumatic for them. Aw, Trixie. Here, the great and powerful Trixie. It has been about 20 days, perhaps since the first infection of the virus. But I have collected the following information in all these days. The virus is an infectious disease that affects ponies and turns them into aggressive and cannibalistic creatures. The virus causes those infected to carry larvae, worms and parasites that lodge in the brain and body off those infected. Symptoms have high fever and chills, loss of appetite and weight, changing color and texture of the fur and fur, fur and fur, bleeding from the eyes, nose and mouth, loss of consciousness and speech, aggression and violence towards other ponies and animals, cannibalism and necrophag, necrophagy, I think that's how you pronounce that, resistance to pain and wounds, decomposition of pu putrefaction of fabrics, Symptoms. High fever and chill. Oh, we just read that. And this is a mutation where they mutate together. Oh, Jesus. I've seen a few mutated ponies. It's really scary. The virus has the ability to mutate and adapt to different environmental conditions and hosts. Some of the mutations observed are the following. Increased size and strength of infected ponies. Development of claws, fangs, and horns. Emission of guttural and terrifying sounds. Formation of hives and zombie swarms. Generation of spores and toxins that infect air and water. And resistance to antibiotics and antivirals. Important note. The virus being able to mutate ponies can also combine two or more ponies to create a single body. Which increases its strength and resistance. I still don't know very well exactly about these mutations. I need more time. I wonder if there are worse things than mutation. Well, that's it for today's information. The great and powerful Trixie says goodbye. So Trixie had some very important info. Let me go, damn it. I'll stop this, I promise. Starlet lowered the knife and released Sunset Shimmer. Why don't you understand that I do this for the good of everyone? Sunset, you wanted to sacrifice someone innocent. Have you never heard the dilemma that says, would you sacrifice one's life to save five? What would you say? But this is different. It is not different at all, Starlight. The only difference is that it will not only be five lives, but the whole world. Be rational for once. I'm being... I'm being it. Sunset. I think that's what that says. We both have our points of view. Neither of them is right. And now, if only Trixie hadn't gotten lost. Do you think that if she were here, she would think the same of us? It is more than obvious that she is looking for other solutions. If he's still alive. I know he is alive. Yes, Sunset, I know. She's strong and probably still alive, but look how things are. There are too many possibilities. Sunset looks at Star Starlight and Fluttershy carefully. Fluttershy is very scared. 
Sorry, Starlight. Sunset threw the knife at Starlight. What the fuck? So she kind of just turned into the villain for a minute. Got more to Trixie. I had forgotten to show you. Other symptoms. Acceleration and alteration of heart and respiratory rhythm. Dilation and redness of the pupils. Increased body temperature and sweat. Decreased sensitivity to pain and fear. Constant and compulsive hunger. Aggression and territoriality towards other ponies and animals. Loss of memory and identity. I also discovered that ponies are attracted to the smell of flesh and blood. Light attracts them as blank loud sounds. I think that's a blank, but I'm not sure. By the way, I have a few things in my bag that might be of help. Trigger warning, fake weapon. You got the knife. You got, um, I forgot what this is called. A compass, I believe. You got binoculars, a flashlight, a bottle of water, and medical supplies. I know that with this, I will be able to find starlight and sunset. Tracy looks closely at the camera screen. What is that behind me? Twilight? Damn, Twilight, you scared me. Sorry. Are you infected? How long have you been like this? I lost track of the days. But apparently you're still conscious. I guess you can still save yourself. Ha. Huh. <laughs> oh, dear God. Twilight, you're scaring me. I don't know what's wrong with me. I feel like only part of me is aware of what it does and the other half is totally controlled by the parasite. Your case is too strange. I have never seen a pony like that before. Please help me. I can't take this anymore. Twilight repeated a few times shouting, I can't hold on. I can't hold on. I can't hold on. I want to tear off my skin. Please calm down. Do you know how I can help you? If the parasites are removed from the area, they die instantly, and the area will simply be left with their wound unless they have laid their eggs where you have not removed them. There is. There is a way. What the fuck happened to your hair? It burned. Haha, <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> Sorry. Are you okay? Sorry if it worries you when it comes to running away like that. Ha, I'm fine, sir. Don't worry. I just sprained my back leg a little. Other than that, I'm fine if you are too. Changing the subject, didn't you see how aggressive that deer was? Apparently the animals are becoming more aggressive. Even if you don't do anything to them, they still attack. I still think the cure may be in them, sir. But it will be difficult if we do not have test objects. Even taking samples from animals will be difficult. It's very risky. They could attack us and affect us. But don't worry about that. I'm willing to take the risk for you. In these circumstances, I want us both to protect each other. Not just you to me. But, but nothing. Could you show me the information we already have? Sure, here you go. It is transmitted through direct or indirect contact with the body fluids of infected, animals such as blood, saliva, urine, or feces. It can also remain in contaminated soil, water, or food for a long time. There is no treatment or vaccine. It's a shame that even domestic animals are like this. Dogs and cats, they are car carnivorous animals, or mammals that belong to the canid and felide animes, families, I can't talk, I just got off work and I'm tired. Respectively, they have a highly developed sense of smell and are social and domestic animals. They can become infected by worms and parasites such as hookworms, tapeworms, or toxicuras, which lodge in their intestines by other organs. These parasites can pass to fly larvae that feed on their excrement or open wounds. Rodents. They are rodent mammals that are characterized by having incisors that grow continuously and that they use for gnawing. There are many species of rodents, such as mice, rats, squirrels, beavers, or rabbits. They are omnivorous, animals and adapted to various habitats. They can be infected by worms and parasites such as nematodes, cestitodes, cestodes, I believe, or trematodes, which are transmitted by consumption, or of contaminated food or water, or by contact with other infected animals. These parasites can pass to the larvae 
that feeding on their excrement of their open wounds. Damn, there's more, my god. Wild boars. I'm not reading this word here. <laughs> no, no, I have to try, I have to try. They're ard artiodactyle mammals that belong to the suid family. Along with pigs, they have a robust body, an elongated head, sharp fangs, and rough dark fur. They are omnivorous animals with nocturnal habits. They live in forest, meadows, and mountainous areas. They can become infected by worms and parasites such as Trichinella, <laughs> Ascaris, I'm not reading this, I'm done, with lodge in their muscles, liver, or lungs. These parasites can pass through fly larvae that feed on their excrements or open wounds. My god. We have collected this so far, sir. Let's keep walking. Maybe we'll find something ahead, as you say. With Trixie and Twilight, do you want me to get all that off your face? You are undoubtedly crazy. It's the only way I know. The bugs have even gotten into my brain. Do you think you can help me? I... I am the great and powerful Trixie. Of course I am capable. But you have to look for a cleaner place. There would be no point if I took them out and they reinfested in an instant. You're right. But keep your distance from me, Twilight. Believe me, I don't want to hurt you. But if you decide to attack me, I will have no mercy. What a bad vibe. I know. This story is actually kind of neat so far. I like how this is turning out. The great and powerful Trixie, alongside with Twilight, look for a safer and cleaner place to deworm Twilight. You know, when I saw you, I thought you would hurt me or eat me. I would never do that. Asshole, of course I would have done it. But you're helpful, so I won't do it. Twilight was getting very close to Trixie. Ah, we agreed that you would keep some distance. Trixie takes a few steps somewhat scared. What a bad vibe. Twilight stands back. Sorry. Trixie kept walking. I know you're watching me. Trixie and Twilight, after a long walk and some problems with Twilight's changes, arrive at cleaner terrain. Well, Twilight, I hope you can control yourself while I deworm you. I beg you. Twilight, don't worry, Trixie. I'll try to control myself. All right. Trixie takes out a knife and sterilizes it with a little alcohol. Here I go. Trixie cuts some of Twilight's skin to remove the parasites with tweezers. Twilight, this hurts. Be more careful. It would hurt less if you stayed still, Twilight. I'll have to take pieces of your skin from other places so I can. Resh reshape your face. Are you sure? Twilight, just do it. Trixie took pieces of Twilight's skin to sew them to her face to close the wound. And that's it. Sorry if this was painful, frog face. Shut up, burnt hair. I feel lighter. It was painful, but it feels good. Thank you very much, Trixie. Without you, I couldn't have done this. Although my blindness in my left eye will not go away, at least it's just that. Yes, of course, it's just that. At least. I like Twilight. She's actually my favorite character right now, so. More rarity and pinky? More sensitive content and loud sounds? We're gonna pause that before the loud sounds appear. Ha <laughs> ha! Pinkie Pie had been silent for a few minutes. Her body soon had tick reactions. Pinky? Her eyes were bulging out of place, gagging as if she wanted to vomit something from inside her. It showed certain green spots on its body and a strange liquid that fell from its snout that had a dark tone. She made heartbreaking and strange sounds. Inside her snout came a smell of putrefaction. It was full of larvae, and they were eating the walls of her cheeks. Rarity soon had the same strange reactions as Pinky. Her face melted and that liquid fell all over her face. Rarity had her tonsils full of pus and some larvae laying their eggs. It was really disgusting to see how they were rotting from the inside. Gross, dude. That's gross. Yucky, yucky. I hate that fucking audio. Apple Bloom, can we rest? We have walked a lot. 
Rainbow Dash, not yet. Apple Bloom, sensing Rainbow Dash's seriousness, remains silent for a large part of the way. Rainbow Dash, my legs can't handle it anymore. Please let's rest, I'm begging you. God, you are annoying. It's okay, we'll rest for a while. Both ponies stay in an abandoned house to rest. I'll go explore the house. Try not to die, little girl. Haha. <laughs> Apple Bloom explores the house while Rainbow Dash regrets leaving Applejack behind. Why did you do it, Applejack? Why did you have to be a heroine in the situation? Run, it's chasing me! Apple Bloom appeared out of nowhere running and screaming desperately. Uh-oh. There's a fucking infected, huh? Trigger warning. Sensitive content. Shit! Apple Bloom, hide! Apple Bloom and Rainbow Dash had hidden somewhere further down. What was that supposed to be? Rainbow Dash signaled for her to be quiet. Shush. It's already gone. How are you so sure about that? What was that thing? It seems they were... Forget it, girl. Are you okay? Are you tired? She is tired. I'm very tired, Rainbow Dash. I fell down the stairs when I came running to tell you. It hurt me a lot. I'll go see if that thing is still here. Wait here for me. Shit, it's still here. Holy shit! So that's what happened to Rarity and Pinky, huh? Nice! They fucking morphed. <laughs> what the fuck happened to Pinky and Rarity? It's disgusting. I don't know how I'll get out of this place. This girl is a nuisance. Applejack won't be back. Sorry, Apple Bloom. Rainbow Dash left the place, leaving the girl behind. She had abandoned her as to not waste time. Is that Flutters? There is no one to hinder us anymore, dear Shy. I'm sorry for being so abrupt and cruel to you. Don't get me wrong, I'm doing it for the greater good. Oh, she fucking butchered Fluttershy, dude. Idiot, you're okay. I stopped the bleeding as soon as I took the knife out of you. Sunset, it hurts too much. What the fuck did you do to Fluttershy? She is fine. Her heart is still beating. I only gave her a few medications. And I saw that he had paras- or she had parasites in her stomach. That's why he she has a gash in her stomach. Although I had the intention of making a cure because I realized that the girl is not even immune. It was the parasite that was killing the larvae and worms. What? With Trixie and Twilight. I don't like the fucking music with the talking, sorry. I guess you're okay now. I'm fine, Trixie. Shall we stay here? Maybe you will stay here, but I'm leaving. I have things to do. I need to find Sunset and Starlight. The last time I was with them, they mentioned a place. They must be there. Can I accompany you? I promise to be of help. Good, but don't get in the way. With Sunset and Starlight. Sorry, Starlight, that shouldn't have been like that. This shouldn't have been like that. After all, I still love you, Sunset. Starlight and Sunset hear the door in the, of the place open. Who the fuck? Sunset? Starlight? Trixie? Trixie sees Fluttershy hanging. But what the fuck, Sunset? What did you do? Trixie, please. Twilight, what are you doing here? What the fuck did you do to Fluttershy? It's not what you think, Twilight. Please, I've done all this just for you. For me? <laughs> for me? <laughs> that's the end of season one. Holy shit. So that's chapter 50, but there's still more to go. Hey, where are we at right now, right? Because we were there. Here. Here. We were here. Yeah, that's chapter 50. So we have, you know, I think we're going to stop it here at chapter 50 because I am tired and I want to get some sleep. And then I'll do the rest right here tomorrow night. <laughs> so anyway, hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed. <laughs> Dislike if you didn't. It's completely fine either way. Sorry if I was messing up my speech a lot. I do that a lot regardless just because I'm really fucking stupid, but I'm also really fucking tired too. And it's also like 5.43 in the morning where I currently live. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. 
and I will see you all in the next video. Also, feel free to join the Discord server. So thanks for watching. Peace. Fuck on lying, I can't even make it perfect timing I'm always sad, don't